In this video I'll show you how to connect to an FTP server within Windows. Not many people know this but Windows has an inbuilt FTP client that you can access through File Explorer. So not only will I show you that but I'll also show you a third party client which will give you a much better experience as well. Firstly you'll need to bring up your FTP details so I'm just going to open up my notepad file. So I've got mine here so you should have something like an IP address or a domain or subdomain a username and a password. And once you've got this, you can open up File Explorer. You don't need to worry where you are in here. It doesn't matter where you are because we're only going to be using the address bar at the top. And you just need to type this out as followed. So FTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address and hit enter. And you'll be asked to log in. So as I've already got my details here, I'm just going to type them in again anyway. Put my password in and hit enter to log in. Slowly but surely we have connected and I can see there's already a, a file in here. Just to test that this is working though, I'm going to open up another folder here where I've got a test file uh, and I'm going to copy and paste that in. And there we go, it's appeared. There's also a quicker way to connect to an FTP server. Uh, you can put the full username, password and IP address in the bar. So uh, just type it out as followed. I'm going to blur parts of this out so you can't see my password, but uh, type it out as followed ftp colon forward slash forward slash username in my case it's admin colon and then your password and then at the ip address of the server and if you hit enter it should just take you into the directory automatically if windows file explorer doesn't quite cut it then you can use winscp this is a free program the link for this will be in the description below um, but let me just show you this now so this is the screen that you'll see once you've downloaded it. Um, enter your IP address or domain and your username and password and ensure that FTP is selected. It's good to use a program like this if you're working with multiple servers because you can simply just save your session and next time you open it you can just double click and come straight into it. Generally speaking, using a third party program like this is much more stable and will give you a much better experience than using the default Windows File Explorer one. That's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.